I can't believe this um, the, this incident of throwing anything on uh, on a basketball basketball court is happening again. All right, first Russell Westbrook, now it's Kyrie Irving. All right, fans haven't learned their lesson from from well, what we call now the malice at the palace. Okay. Uh, Metal World Peace, then known as Ron Artesi, was what? Well, he was just minding his own business. Then, all of a sudden, a fan throws popcorn on him. So, natural. He, he went after that fan. And so was, um, and so was Steven Jackson, who saw, Steven Jackson, who saw the whole thing. Okay? And, well, everybody's trying to, um, appease the crowd. Even, uh, even Larry Brown, who was coaching the Pistons at the time. Right, but uh, even Larry, even Larry Brown himself got res- got disrespected. Okay. Now, um, you are a fan. Okay? You bought a ticket. You're there to watch the game. But that that does not entitle you to disrespect um, disrespect any person on that floor, or much, or even inside that building, much less the players. All right. It's merely a lesson in hospitality. What happened to um, what happened to uh, to to Westbrook and Kyrie? Right. You are a guest inside a house. In this case, um, the playing arena. You disrespect the man of the house. No, nope. you're not a guest anymore. You're an invader. You do that here in my you do that here in my country, you disrespect the man of the house, two things can happen. You'll e- he'll either show you the door or he'll kick you out of it. All right? My strong suggestion for the NBA is to well, just ban the player and file charges. You know, well, that can be considered assault because what happened to the fan that um that uh, threw popcorn on Metal World Peace at the time, he served jail time, right? He got, uh, well, charges, charges were filed against him. But um, due to, well, um, due to um, Meta's reaction at the time, he got banned for a year. And, and so was, uh, I think, Steven Jackson. He also got banned for a year. Kasi talagang, talagang nag-retaliate sila they both retaliated against that fan. Pero, what triggered that one, the man in the palace, was that fan. Okay. And, well, that's my suggestion. Alright? To all NBA fans out there, before you disrespect anybody inside that arena, you need to remember. Okay? You need to remember the malice at the palace.